Hello, and welcome to Leopard's Solo Flawless Warlord's Ruin, mainly solar hunter build video. Uh, here's an example of the build in the final boss section. We have Celestial on, we're healing with restoration. We throw our melee, we shoot GG for a bunch of damage. We spam our GL here. And we do about 1.5 to 2 million damage. I wasn't, uh, I didn't have armor charge there for kinetic surges, but um, it does a, it does a whole lot of damage. So, what are the builds that I use on mainly Solar Hunter? I call it mainly Solar Hunter because we do use Strand, Grapple, and Sword uh, Eager Edge to uh, go between different um, uh, between the three different boss fights. Um, for the first boss. I use Shards of Galanor with Blade Barrage, so I get a Blade Barrage for every damage phase on the first boss. Um, Shards, of Galanor, Shards of Galanor has been recently changed, where you're throwing nine final blow kills, greatly reduce your super cooldown, so in between um, phases, you'll be meleeing a lot of enemies. I use a Blinding Grenade, a Solar Weapon, and Lament. Also, all these builds here will be in the video description with a dim link so you can check them out. Uh, first boss, first boss runaround mechanics, second boss damage, third boss runaround mechanics, third boss damage, and then traversing between bosses, encounters rather. Um, yeah, definitely said that in the right order. So yeah, Lament for damage, heals. I'm using a healing grenade. And then the Empyrean Fragment. Empyrean Fragment, solar kills or ability kills. Solar weapon or ability kills. Extend your Radiant Restoration. Um, probably the most important piece. But uh, yeah, Blistering, so solar ignitions, grant grenade energy. I always want my grenade back because without restoration, any Hunter solar build is terrible. Ashes for more Scorch Stacks. I need my class ability back as well so I can dodge with Gambler's Dodge to get my melee back. So you have a nice little loop here. Uh, and then torches. So my powered melee will make me radiant. Although this season, it's less important with all these artifact mods where uh, like rapid solar precision hits will make me radiant. But I, best days are ahead of us. I like the dependency of the reliability rather of, of the melee giving me, giving me radiant. Um, I'm not going to go into why I chose everything that I chose, except for probably impact induction, I guess, for the first boss. Uh, that gives me my grenade back. I always want my grenade, grenade back super fast. Also, I have should have innervation here. Yeah, innervation or pickup. So when I pick up orbs, not only do I heal, I also get my grenade back. Music, please chill. Holy. Um... Also on your artifact, you got this. Where's it at? There it is. When your super is nearly fully charged, you'll get like four orbs out of a guy when you melee him sometimes. Melee kill him. And then that'll give you a whole bunch of super and your grenade all the way back. So that's super mistakes. nice. Um, here's a little example of what that looks like. So here I'm running around, slaying out and keeping my restoration up, getting some kills while capturing these plates, capturing these plates and blinding things. I also will occasionally switch to Lament to make sure it's uh, heavy attack is charged. We drop the super there. We get about half the super back. We go then into Lament damage. We're healing. We have restoration. Occasionally I'll take a break here. I'll hit one of these ads with my Lament just to keep restoration going. looks like we're going full send on this first attempt of the day. And uh, yeah, there's a damage phase right there. So uh, not great. Had the healing grenade ready to go, but not terrible damage. And then in between here, what I'm trying to do is blind, melee kill. Uh, I missed that kill. Great. But normally I'm scorching something, so my grenade, my uh, class ability comes back right away. I blind, I dodge, and now I melee. Big chunk of super cooldown there because of uh, Shards of Galanor. Get the restoration going. Make sure the restoration is still going in here. Killing these eyes also extend restoration as long as you do it with the uh, solar weapon. So, 
That's the first boss. Then I switch to uh, just like Eager Edge to get to the second boss. On second boss, we continue with uh, Shards of Galinor. However, for runaround mechanics, we have Assassin's Cal just for safety at the second boss. The Ogre. Let's go to the beginning here. This is the the last my last run. I just died uh, at the final boss too. Um, yeah, always throw healing grenade, kill stuff with solar, and make sure you keep that restoration up. Oh my god, that music! And you can see restoration up. Constantly healing, constantly healing. So anytime I melee something, I'll go invis for extra safety. I don't do it too much right here because I'm pretty safe. But whenever I'm like depositing the solar um, charges into the lanterns, I'll definitely use it. Here, when this guy spawns, I have a slice strand uh, fusion, rapid fire fusion. So I'm gonna hit him with my solar ability because there's an artifact mod that does weakening and then um, dodge to apply slice, which applies sever, which makes him do 40% less damage or 45% less damage. Slice activated, so his shots won't even hurt me. And then and wait till he drops the totem, kill him right Smug. away. Outside cam, what a beautiful day. And then capture both plates. Yeah, so then when we um, deposit, I make sure I have restoration up. I make sure I'm in viz. I make sure these minotaurs die or, or at least low first. Uh, here, I probably drop it and then melee to go in. Oh, oh shoot. shoot. <laughs> I literally said the same thing. There we go. Invis. Put it in. Yeah, so that's that's the runaround build. Assassin's Cow. I don't use any Dragon's okay. Breath. Dragon Breath is a little scary to use unless you're on boss. Kill these eyes. Um, oh my god, that was the... For... Uh, anything else here? Let's see. Solar scav, resistances, grenade kickstart. Um, yeah, my primary is just incandescent, explosive payload, Zally's Bane. For damage, what I do is make sure I'm. Um, we don't make mistakes. Make sure I'm invis we from Assassin's Cow. Make sure my restoration up. Make sure my healing grenade is back. Make sure my melee is back. Make sure all my abilities are cool. Make sure I have super, and I switch to this. Backstars Galinor again will give me about half my half my super back, um, and then I'll dodge, get my melee back, use the rapid fire fusion, which has great super cooldown. Um, like it helps bring your super back really fast when you're shooting the boss. Dragon's Breath will also stagger, so if I apply slice and sever, then shoot Dragon's Breath, then get a melee off on one of the ads running around me. Um, my super will start to come back pretty fast. And I'll keep spamming this. And I'll keep meleeing enemies, get my super back. And then we run diagonally to another plate and repeat that repeat that process uh, four times. I don't always get super. Where are we at, 30 minutes? Where are we at? I don't always get super, but on every plate, but uh, speed ahead of here, where are we at? All right, here we go, here we go. Start damage. So I've already switched to Stars of Galinor. I've already dropped the ball. We have plenty of restoration here. We drop it, I'm trying to drop it. I melee there to extend restoration. I melee him to debuff him. I then hit the Shards of Galinor. Uh, Shards of Galinor did not proc. Sometimes if like one knife misses, it just won't proc, uh, unfortunately. So then uh, apply slice after the dodge, apply sever. Now we're gonna shoot him with dragon's breath. You'll see him stagger to keep him out of the plate, which is nice. I'm looking for a melee kill. No no Didn't see it. So I'm gonna run out of restoration here, but I'm gonna keep, should have dodged first. There we go, melee, restoration. Okay, he's already immune. So I already need to move to the next plate. I'm gonna run diagonally, get a melee kill here. Get that super to come back. This is not a great damage phase, unfortunately. I think my second damage phase is really good. I screw up a lot here. But ideally, I already have my next super by this next plate. If I would have been at half from Shards of Galinor, I should have been fine. Throw the melee, debuff, hit the slice on him so I don't take damage. Screwed up that again. Shoot Dragon's Breath, let him get way too close. Gonna try to stagger him back here. Where did the ads go? I think Dragon's Breath killed them because it like explodes really big. 
And that was my problem was I let him get too close. Who are you about? The ads are on top of me. Who are you talking to? He's on top of me. Dragon's Breath is on top of him. So it's like shooting out solar and killing all the ads around me. I need those ads alive to kill them and get my uh, super pack. But I, I screwed up. So but yeah, it's basically the rotation. Um, let me speed ahead to where my good damage phase was. Yeah, so here's the good damage phase. This is how you should do it. Melee there. Extend restoration, melee there. Debuff, dodge, apply slice, apply sever. He's doing 40% less damage, I melee him. Uh, Shards of Galar didn't totally work there, but it's not bad. You can see the, the fusion is bringing back my super relatively fast. Unfortunately there, my knife did not kill. I've got to do it again. There we go, we're about halfway through. Restoration got dropped. Throw it again. We got to get here before blind, biting cold 10 or else it'll screw up. Apply sever. Stagger. We'll get a super here, but I think we're going to hold it. I think, is this where I made the mistake? Okay, I'm trying to re-up restoration. Uh, I see that my timer's at zero, so I'm not going to pop super yet. So we're going to leave. And we have all of our cooldowns, so I'm going to probably throw a healing grenade and then a melee. I'm trying to get another kill here. I don't really get it. I get back in here before biting cold. Nine. Melee. Super. I check my radar and I see I can dodge to get my, my melee back and apply sever. So I probably... Oh no, I run for it. Okay. Never mind. There I could hear the sound of my dragon's breath reloading. So I'm going to whip it out. Or not. No, my timer is up. Nope. Never mind. Timer is up. Now we go diagonally to the last plate. Pretty good damage. Okay, and there was one more one more plate, but we're not gonna watch it. Okay. Um Yeah, Dragon's Breath is nice. It staggers when you I also use Riptide here when you stack it with stuff. It's or I think Dragon's Breath staggers anyway, but it's it's really nice with a rapid fire fusion because you get your super back super fast. Um we then switch to strand to go to the final boss. Once we're there, we go Thousand Cow, Izanagi's. Zali's Bane again, and this Surrounded Envious Assassin GL. This is just to dump damage per floor. Um, I use Izanagi's to just kill the Yellow Bar Scorn guys exactly when I want to. Assassin's Cal for survivability. Once the Yellow Bar Scorn guy is dead, once I've captured the plates, once, I'm, once I win my game of tag versus the little red bar guy that runs around and plays tag with you, I make sure I go invis with a melee kill. I make sure that's when I switch to my Celestial Nighthawk. And then I tap the boss for about a million damage, assuming I have double kinetic surge on, which still does a lot of damage. Um, after I melee uh, to become radiant and debuff the boss, it does about a million damage. It'll say nine, 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 nine on the screen. And then um, before I pop GL, I make sure I have my GL. Before I pop golden gun, I make sure I have my GL out. And as the Celestial Nighthawk shot finishes, my GL comes up and I can spam it. I'm usually surrounded by that point. I'm also healing from restoration, hopefully by that point. And I can do about 2 million damage on the final boss if done correctly with only capturing two plates, which I think is 10 seconds of damage uh, per floor. So it's pretty nice. I can easily two phase the boss. Uh, we'll watch that in a second. Uh, the biggest problem here is killing stuff too fast. If you kill stuff too fast in any one of these encounters and you lose restoration, you got to make sure your healing grenade is back by the time your restoration runs out. Otherwise, you're in trouble. Uh, so some of the problems I've been running into is I, I kill stuff too fast, too quick. And if I do that, I don't have a way to extend restoration, especially before the mechanics begin, like when the yellow bar uh, scoring guy spawns and stuff. Um, so let's see if the first one is good here. Uh, while I made... uh, we've not started yet. So there he spawned. I'm shooting stuff. He does his thing. Oh no, this one sucked. This one sucked because I wasn't invis when I went to go shoot my Izanagi shot. And so I'm getting flinched to hell. Uh, ideally, I, I see him drop his totem. I'm keeping restoration up, but he drops his totem and then I melee to go invis. Then I don't have to worry about getting flinched and I can easily land my uh, Honed Edge times four Izanagi shot to one tap him. No. That way both the totems are overlapped oh. and I can easily capture it here. I just, I really struggled. I did a finally get the kill though. 
I, I checked that I have restoration up. You can't ever see it on the timer over here because Bungie loves to hide it. It would rather show armor charge. So now I know I'm good to capture. I shoot the blight, so I'm not taking damage. I see this guy went in and play tag. I have five seconds left. I can only capture one because I can't push beyond that. So I play tag at the last second, jump away. Get some kills here. Make sure my restoration is good. That's when I make my switch to Celestial. Get another kill, probably. Yep, go invis. Oh, that in. Oh, I won't go invis because I'm on Celestial. Then I throw my melee, get Radiant, get the debuff on boss. I do have armor charge, so this better hit for 99999. It does. 99999. Big damage. Now I can switch to um, pull up my GL. I'm should be surrounded, and then I can spam this. Nice. Good damage. A little risky shooting a GL with all those ads around you, but you know, go big or go home. So there's one phase of damage. Um, for later on in the fight, I, um, I, I think I'm really bad at, um, the f place where you actually do damage. I don't, I haven't gotten a lot of reps here but essentially what i should be doing is definitely not throwing my healing grenade when all these guys are immune um because i i should have shot the eyes earlier Why immune? Why immune? Um, so now i'm just gonna bail you can actually okay. bail and just drop down here and let your cooldowns come back before you push on to the next the next uh final damage plate And uh, yeah, I wait for my cooldowns to come back. But even if I wait for them, like, Awkward. it's not that great of damage. Yeah, 250 from Izzy's. Mistakes. I'm gonna try to get my dodge here. And then see, I took too long. Well, what I should have done is keep, I should have kept shooting that eye. It would have extended damage. I would have got my dodge off. Would have got my melee back. Would have still had restoration. But instead, I just shot it once and ran up and dodged. It was not the intelligent play. So now I have to go to this third plate. Um, it's super dicey because I have no restoration. I'm using honed edge. It's you know it's 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 a little damage, but it's nothing major. Nothing to be nothing to risk my life for. Almost shot the pillar again. Lol, this is the pillar build. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're we're well over well over two phaseable here. Uh, notice that he has a final stand mechanic. And once this hits, you can just drop out and shoot him from super far away. But because of this, a two phase damage is like probably right here on the bar, as opposed to right under the raid symbol. You could be right about here for a two phase because once you hit here, you can just go to final stand. Um, but yeah, those are the builds. We'll have the dim link, dim links to all these builds and the, um, in the description of the video. And I hope you enjoy this 18 minute long uh, leoparding while I talk nonstop about how I try to solo flawless the new Warlord's Ruin dungeon on mainly Solar Hunter. Hope you enjoy this video. Goodbye.